We know we have a lot of weapons on this team. You know, it's not a one-dimensional team. We have great running backs. We have a great offensive line. We have great receivers. You know, all of them are good. And we just wanted to come out, execute, you know, uh, not focus on getting one person involved, but getting everybody involved in the offense. You know, like, it's just like a, a, in a palace out here. And, you know, I think the support of the fans, I think that made a heck of a lot of a difference. And then, you know, we left. Uh, the university and we had a parade all the way down here, the buses and everything. So everything was a big hype for our team. Man, of course, it builds confidence in all of them, so they're on that three game pass over the oh, touch. Nice, nice quick pattern to Corey Sullivan, and the touchdown pass was on the money. And TSU, in no time at all, with a couple of big passing plays, is in scoring position. Handoff inside as Brantley makes it in. Touchdown, the strong run Donald by Brantley. Donnell. Here's Perkins, Perkins to the end zone. There's you got the it. Pass. That black touchdown to Avian Black. Simple post corner, Rudy. Simple post corner. Took advantage of the young man, Winston, who moved to that side. And Avian Black with a reception off the pass of Chris Perkins and TSU strikes with 37 seconds to play. All in the air. You had to know at some point they were going to go back at the rookie, at the freshman there. Yeah. I just think it was very bad what happened with the kid from the other school, how he tackled the kid out of bounds and everything, because Murray is clearly out of bounds, and I think it was a, just a, I don't even want to talk about that.
With their emotions spent and their energy sapped, following a hard-fought championship win over Murray State, TSU players were all too anxious to recount their back-to-back -back OVC title night. And it came down to this 37-yard field goal with only seconds on the clock and Murray holding a 41-39 lead. So I thrive off that. A lot of kickers, a lot of kickers get kind of scared when they get, you know, they want to get out there and they want to kick the ball and get the, get off the field. I'll stay out there as long as I can. That's, that's people looking at me for a longer amount of time, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I thrive off that and never any doubt. When I go on the field, I'm, I'm going to make every one of them. Backup quarterback Chris Perkins once again did his job as he started the Murray State game and has now led the Tigers to three straight wins in place of the injured Leon Murray. We just go out and just try to do what we have to do to win the game. I mean, whether you hurt, you just got to leave it all out on the field. Everybody said this week, uh, all my teammates saying that we was going to leave it all out on the field. And that's what we did. And in the fourth quarter, Leon Murray, who will be operated on Wednesday to repair ligaments in his left knee, took over for Perkins, hoping to spark the offense, but left after several series with pain in his knee. I told Coach, you know, my family and everything, I didn't want... Uh, in my last game as a senior to be me tearing my ACL against Western Kentucky. So, you know, I was fortunate to get out a couple plays and, uh, you know, give Chris a chance to uh, look at things from the side of him.